I'm in my iTunes on my laptop, which is a Windows computer. So I'm using Apple software in a Microsoft computer. So I've got my iTunes open and I've got four albums here under Guns N' Roses. What I want to do is make one album like a best of. So I'm going to pull tracks from each of these individual four albums and I'm going to make one best of album in this video. Okay, so I'm actually going to start inside of Windows File Explorer and to get to that, down on your taskbar, you may have a little icon. It'll look like this. And if you don't have that icon, which would look like this, File Explorer. If you don't have this, then what you'd want to do is click the little Windows icon and type in EXP and then you'll see File Explorer should come up. It'll look something like this. So you pop that open and that gets you to this screen. Now inside of this screen, you've got folders. So you're going to have to find your music folders where your music is sitting. In this case here, I've got all of my albums and I'm going to right click. I'm going to go New Folder and I'm going to go Best Of and I'll type Guns N' Roses in. So now from here, I'm just going to simply grab different songs that I want. So I'm going to go into the first album, for example, pick certain songs. So I'm just going to right click now and copy. I'm going to go back into my best of. I'll put those over here. Okay, so I've pasted a bunch of songs now into my main folder, which is my best of Guns N' Roses. But you'll see over here on the right, my albums are showing different albums. So if I were to import this folder now into iTunes, it would just simply show up under these different albums. Now, if you don't have this album header in your Windows Explorer, you can right click on the headers and you can toggle on or off album. You've actually got a lot of different headings that you can use and even if you click more, you'll get a whole bunch of different headings, tons and tons and tons of different headings. So I've got album, contributing artist, and title, and then I've got my track. So it's important you want to have these showing. Now you'll notice the track numbers are a couple duplicates here and then I've got my album are all different. These are not the real names of the songs. These are the real names of the song. So this is called metadata and it's sitting inside the file. So I'm going to highlight everything here. I'm then going to right click. I'm going to go to properties and this screen is going to pop up now. This is the properties tab inside of Windows Explorer. And so I'm going to go here to details. And you'll see the title has multiple values. The contributing artist is Guns N' Roses because that's all the same. And the album has different values sitting in here and the years are different. So what I want to do is go into the album and I want to just change that. I'm just going to change it to like best of Guns N' Roses. And then I want to change the year. I'm just going to make that this year. And then the track, this is important. You want to change the track. Now I changed it to 99. You could just delete it out if you wanted, but I'm going to go to 99. So now I'm going to click OK. It's going to update and you'll see now I've updated my folder. So the album name is consistent. The contributing artist is exactly the same. The title is fine and the tracks now are all 99. And I'll show you why in just a minute. I don't care about the name here because that's just a file name that sits on the PC. Okay, so now I'm inside of iTunes and I'm going to go here to File and I'm going to go Add Folder to Library. You could also do Add File to Library, but Add Folder to Library is probably quicker. Okay, and I've opened up my Music folder. I'm going to go to Guns N' Roses and I'm going to go double click and then I'm going to pick Best of Guns N' Roses and I'm going to pick Select Folder. And now you'll see right here it says Best of Guns N' Roses at the top. It's my most recent album because I've got this year. I've got it sorted by year. All of my songs are sitting here and they're all alphabetized. They just went D down through Y. And it's just picked a random album cover. So you can update the album cover if you want. Now from here, it's pretty easy to change the track listing. So let's say I wanted Paradise City to be my number one track. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to Song Info. And then here you'll see Track 99 Of. I'm just going to change this to 1. And I'll go OK. And you'll notice it pops right to the top. So the reason I do 99 is so that these go to the top that I've changed. And then all the ones that I have left to do are sitting at the bottom. So now I'll do Welcome to the Jungle next. Song Info number two, and so on. You can see now I'm populating them in the order that I want, not necessarily alphabetical order. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I do love iTunes, but it's a bit tricky on a PC, especially if it's running in Windows. Now you may notice I didn't update my album cover, and that's because I have a video on how to do that right here. Enjoy.